Yes, hey y'all, hey. How are you guys doing? Hey, 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 hey y'all, this is your girl first, and you are coming to the City Highlight Radio Show here on the GMT platform. As you guys know, today is Friday, Thursday, and it's premiere week. I had a great week, you guys. I've had some amazing, amazing, amazing interviews. If you've not been able to catch them, please go catch those replays. Guys. I had Miss Amanda Sapp on Monday, who, man, we had such a great conversation. It was so, it was, it was very, very warming and heartfelt. I really enjoyed the interview. I really enjoyed um, listening and learning about her growth and her wanting to be more understanding in 2021. Also, I got the honor of interviewing Mr. Cam Hill on Turn Up Tuesday. And y'all know Cam Hill is a whole turn up. We had a good time. He had me giggling and laughing. Really, really great show. He um, shared with us about what he had coming up for the new year. Of course, I had my GMT family with me on yesterday. But today, I'm really excited about my interview on today because I have a very, very special lady. Um, all things H-Town. When I say there's anything that's lit, that's amazing, that's awesome, that's going on in this city, you can rest assured that Miss Latoria Lemon is a part of it. With that being said, um, she's also known as your favorite rapper's publicist. So let's go ahead and welcome my sis, Miss Latoria Lemon, into the building. Hey, beautiful. Hey, how are you? Happy Thursday. Happy Thursday. Thriving Thursday here over here at the City Highlights. Yes, that's that's what I'm talking about. As usual. Uh, thank you. I appreciate it. I got a super cute for you, girl. Thank you, girl. Thank you. I appreciate that. You know, we we be trying to keep it lit over here. We trying to keep you know keep it. Right. You always look cute. <laughs> so hey. I'm not surprised, guys. Um, Latoria Lemon is one of our best publicists here. We have in Houston, Latoria. First, before we even get into the interview, go ahead and tell the listeners who you are and how they can connect with you and why it is important for them to connect with you, especially since you're making major moves in Houston. <laughs> well, thank you. Thank you for that introduction. So I am Latoria Lemon, born and raised in Houston, Texas, from the north side. The north. <laughs> the north, all day, every day. Um, I, I went to Clark Atlanta University where I studied public relations. And um, this is actually my teen year um, of being out of Clark Atlanta. So super excited about that. Um, I started my company in 2011 as well. So this is also my 10 year of having my company. So I started right when I got out of school. Um, yes, like, black excellence, black yeah. excellence. <laughs> now let me not front. I didn't know what I was doing. It was all by accident or maybe divine divine order. But um, you know, long story short, I studied public relations. I, while I was in school, I interned and worked with a lot of major brands. Um, I, I worked with a company by the name of 135th Street. And so I managed a lot of accounts for them, like with BT and TNT. And I'm, I'm like 19, 20 years old. And, um, you know, they put a lot of trust in me. And so because of that experience and also because of just my background, um, my education and things of that nature, I was able to just kind of start my career in Atlanta um, as a business owner. And then I moved to Houston in 2014 um, and I decided I wasn't going to do PR anymore. So I went back to corporate America. Um, right. And after, <laughs> yeah, after like just I just kept bumping my head in corporate America, not in a not in a way where I was making mistakes, you know, at work. I was actually making my job a lot of money and, you know, but I wasn't I didn't feel fulfilled. I didn't feel right, like right living my purpose and so I feel like every time God got an opportunity to show me that okay this is like you're not applying the faith that I gave right um you know it, it just got to the point where finally I say you know I'm gonna go ahead and resign and literally after like a day after I resigned really stepping out on faith not even resigning but just stepping out on faith um, I got a call from Ashley Stewart to handle some a tour for them and then I got a call from BT to do some stuff in the market. And so it was um it was a complete blessing. And I feel like that was just God, you know, showing me that, hey, 
I, you I got you. Right. I got you. Right. It's not a door being closed. It's the doors that are going to be open for you and give the opportunity okay. to open so many doors to so many others. And yeah. for that, we, we appreciate you, Latour. We're glad to have someone that looks like myself, a beautiful brown queen that not only gets the job done, but you work so hard and you make it look easy. And you always look cute doing it. So kudos <laughs> to you, sis. Kudos. <laughs> well, Thank you. As you know, or maybe you don't, my show is segment in three parts. I have the things to do in the city, as well as the back in the day. And my favorite, my, my most favorite is the say what segment of the day. Now, normally, you know, I kind of inundate my guests and hit them right on top of the head with that say what segment. Right. I'm going to be nice. I'm going to be nice. And we're going to slide you in a little, little gracefully. So let's start with the things to do in the city. Now, you've told the listeners who you are. Um, they can connect with you as Latoria Limit on everything, or how do they reach you? Yeah, absolutely. So on Instagram, I'm Latoria underscore L. On Facebook, I'm Latoria Lemon. I just realized the other day that I haven't been on Twitter in God knows when, but I was going to do better with Twitter. Um, so Latoria underscore L on Twitter as well. And it's two R's and one T. Yes. It's, yeah, you have to remember that because if you don't, if you don't put the hyphen, you'll be digging. It won't pull it right up. So exactly. if you really want to connect with her, please be sure and look her up because she's an amazing person and great person to work with. Now, yeah. as we know, you know, 2020 is over and done with. But um, and this is a new year, new you. Mm -hmm. Would you like to share some maybe some goals and aspirations that you aspire to get done this year or any of your bucket list? Or, you know, those things that you want to do and haven't done and said you're going to do this year. Yeah. So a lot of my goals are like personal. You know, I feel like um, I always tell people, people laugh at Gemini's. Right. So I'm a Gemini. But my Gemini on and off switch is like not like most. Right. So I'm like super, super um, outgoing in my career. And I'm like a go getter in my career and things of that nature. And then in my personal life, I'm kind of shy at yeah. times and so i'm a little reserved so my friends will tell you like half the time we don't even be knowing what's going on with her because she's so she's private she's reserved right, right. what's what, what's what is, what's what's going on with you, girl yeah i get it <laughs> exactly so um some of my goals happen to be uh just continuing my pursuit of like healthy living um you know just really focusing on health this year uh, and I've, I've, I made a transition, I think, in like 2016, uh, where I stopped eating like meat. Um, I'll eat seafood and things of that nature. But I really just kind of, I went from almost 300 pounds, size 20, I think I was like a 24. And now I'm like a 14, 16. And so I'm just, you know, I, I don't get on the scale. I ain't trying to weigh myself. You can see the transformation. It's slow and it's gradual, but it's consistent. And that's all that matters. And that's what matters. Thank you. Thank you. And I feel better, you know, and that's the, that's the biggest thing. Um, another goal for the year is, um, you know, I have some other business ventures that I'm tapping into. Yeah. And so probably maybe by the summer, you guys will, will hear some of those business ventures that I'm super excited about. And I think okay. we are yeah. excited. Be sure to come let the city highlight family. know we love those exclusives. You, listen, girl, you know I'm coming to your show as soon as I get it together. <laughs> and I know it won't take long because you you swift with it, sis. I know I'll look up and you'll be doing ABC then, then all of a sudden it's red carpet roll. I'm like, well, I just... <laughs> Look at God. Look at God. That's, That's all it. I can say is look at God. He's blessing her abundantly, and I love that. I love that. I... um. I know that we're all kind of having to transition right. uh, to this newness of our, our mask life. Right. How are you adapting? You know, you got your 35 masks with sequins yeah. over here, the leopard over here. I have. So what are you, yeah. you know, are you adapting to this mask life and how are you? Yeah, I, I definitely am. Um, I'm adapting to it. Uh, believe it or not. And honestly, probably like maybe six or seven people knows this, but I actually had the coronavirus early on. And so wow. it was, yeah, so it was, it was very much, um, it was scary. I mean, cause at that time when I got it, it was like people, you know, felt like you had to wear the whole shield and you couldn't, right. you know, nobody could. No, uh, it was very scary early on. Yeah, right? absolutely. Very scary. yeah. And I think people have made adjustments on like, just, you know, how to figure out how to live now, which is fine and dandy, but I always say, you know, safety first. And so, right. For me, I'm used to, I'm a busy bee, so I'm I'm hardly ever really home. And when I am home, 
is really for work purposes. So, um, you know, I made those adjustments to, of course, wear my mask. Um, my dad always gets on me because he's like, I see, I saw you took a picture, you didn't have your mask on. I was like, Daddy, yeah, just took it off and then put it back on. That, that's it. And so here, here's the thing that the people got to understand about pictures, right? And then even I saw somebody say, oh, I was at a, I saw somebody at a restaurant and nobody at the restaurant had on their mask. Okay, so most restaurants have multiple tables. Most tables are social distance. You can't eat or drink with your mask on. That's, why you have, that's the purpose of a restaurant. So, you know, you gotta, you gotta be loud. I think a lot of times people are looking to dig for the negative, but one thing about it, I want to protect myself and I, I'm, I'm not selfish enough to not want to protect others. Like right. I'm in a hospitality industry where I'm constantly around people and I have to be around people, even on days where I just want to be by myself. Right. It, That's not an option. In the it's not an option. Yeah, you you know, I'm yeah. I'm constantly having to be on the phone and text and be in person and just a lot of different things. So I um, said all that to say I've made the adjustments and then I also know how serious it is uh, because I had it, you know, right, right, being right. in the house for 14 days and no one can see you. And, you know, you're you're literally in aches and pains, your head's hurting. I mean, it's just a plethora of things. And again, like I said, when I got it, it was early on. So I'm like, Lord, I hope it ain't my time to go. Right, right. <laughs> I know that's it's scary. The uncertainty of it all. So that that alone makes you want to be extra precautious and do all the things that you need to do because exactly. it's personal. It's not just a global thing that I'm concerned about, but it's also my own personal protection. I, I applaud you for sharing that. Like, because you don't have to tell them your business. Child. You didn't have to, but I you know. do. I really can't tell nobody. But it, it's it's very different, and I'm I'm not happy about the mask because it's like you right. go through the process of putting all your lipstick on and doing all the cute you know cuteness that we do as girls, and then you gotta cover it all up with this. But they've come a long way, child. I see the clear mask. They got the things you can put in now that that keep it from messing up your makeup. So yeah. I mean, you know, that's the world we live in today. Unfortunately, exactly. it is what it is. Some things we cannot, you know. We can't yeah. work our way around. Exactly. Yeah. And then, and not to cut you up, but so when I'm not like around people, I got my bifocals on. I can barely see anything going on in the world. So I got my bifocals on and I'm at the Kroger, I'm at the Target. So wearing that mask with the glasses and then the fog. Girl, I'm like, it's an experience. It's an experience. And, and it really is because I've been in situations to where I've going through my day. I've gotten everything that I needed to go through my day. I need to make one stop. And I'm like, I get ready. I jump up. I hop out the car, grab my bag, run mm -hmm. up to the door and then realize I don't have a mask on. Don't have it. So now I have to go in the car. Do I have a mask in the car? Do I want to put the mask on that's in right. the car? It's all kind of things that yeah. go through my head that is kind of manic. But that's the world yeah. we're living in today. We, you know, we have to recover, yeah. unfortunately. But hopefully, um, with these vaccines, and if all y'all get y'all vaccinations, you know, we can get herd immunity, and then we'll have that problem no more. Yeah, that's it. Get it done. Get it done, Latoria. I'm gonna put a song on. I'm not gonna play the whole song because I don't have Facebook coming in our business. But yeah. the last time I saw you in person, this is a song that that I played in my DJ head Chow all night here. long. And now when I hear DJ this Chow. song, you know you think I think about you. What's up, Bree? What's up, Keith? What's up, Lisa? I want all three. Huh. Oh, Ashley. Hey. Oh, Ashley. Hey. Hey. I get hard when she pass me. Cause she did. Th 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 yeah, run around the trap right now with a hundred bands on me. I be looking like a brick. Yeah, ring around the rose. I been riding with the forty. Play, you gon' feel that stick. Yeah, pull up to the red light, shot to walk by, looking good, shot looking like a lick. Yeah. The back like a cake with the ice cream shake, got banana split. Yeah. Pull up to the light and I told him, who pull all that? Too fat. Yeah. Tell your boyfriend you don't want no more. You find you a with some rack. A gentleman, <laughs> open your door, <laughs> take you to the store, <laughs> let you buy what you want. <laughs> Yeah, I like Nene cause she bad. I like Tay, she got that. I like Nisha, she got cash. We go out sometimes, she's fast. What's up? 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 What's up?
What's up, Chris? What's up, Chris? What's up, Keith? Hey, hey, what's up, Keith? Oh, Ashley. Oh, Ashley. Hey. I get hard when she walk past me. Cause she thick. Thick, 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 thick. She made me stutter. Pin up friends. Thick, 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 thick. Ooh. What's up, Shay? What's up, Lynn? I hit it raw. She see me in public like, what's up, Lynn? She talk too much, but I still hit. Cause she a fool on that. Pop that. Throw it. Kill the. You see, I'm on the clean version. I see. Just had a baby trying to get the lights with them stretch marks, bend it over right now. What's up, T? You smash my partner, you can't start a relationship with me. Mm -hmm. Club Godzilla, I can't smash no duck for free. Get that bread, get that, then mm -hmm. leave with my keys. What's up, Bree? Hold up. Oh, that's a What's up, Keith? Club God. What's up, Lisa? Yeah. Oh, three. Oh, Ashley. Oh, hey. Ooh, Ashley. Hey. 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 I can't okay, 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 okay. Y'all know. Because <laughs> she did. Okay, okay. All right. I'll play the whole song, but it's something about when that thing come on. I swear for God, he talking to me. He is. Me. When he when he wrote that song, he was like, "Okay, where's Chris?" <laughs> now he was like, "Well, Latoria, <laughs> he was like, I need to get this out. I need to get Ooh. this out." And yes, when they well. baby rappers publicist. <laughs> There you go, man. So, you no, know, seriously, when that song comes on, I, I, I you pop in my head. It's it's funny, but it's it is the truth. Now, we have a back in the day segment, and I came up with what I think is an amazing question, which leads to a uh, relative to back in the day for okay. Latoria. Uh huh. 2020, give me your lesson and your blessing of 2020. Ooh, Ooh. okay. Mm. <laughs> that, that's a good one so um i have to be extremely honest in 2020 i learned a valuable lesson of you cannot always be the fixer upper of everything mm. and that goes for business that goes for personal that goes for all of the above and you know i think sometimes when you're a natural giver it's just your first instinct to give right? yeah. so you don't and even think you can't give anymore Right, right. And then you look up and it's like, well, why is my cup empty? Empty. You look and you trying to shake out. You thirsty. And you're like, oh, okay, I gave it all away. What happened? That's a good lesson. No. I and hope the listeners are listening because that is a good one. It, it really good. is. It really is. And, and then I also learned another lesson, which will live with me forever and ever and ever. And that is treat yourself how you want to be treated. You know, we were we grew up with treat people how you want them. That's mm -hmm. the one. Mm -hmm. Because that means that you've now put yourself secondary yet again. You yeah. have to treat yourself. And a lot of times we treat ourselves bad and we don't even realize that's what we're doing. You know that is the truth. You will do things for others that you won't even do for yourself. You yeah. will make sacrifices for someone else that you won't reserve for yourself. That is great advice. That's a good... Y'all better get y'all pens and pads out the <laughs> down on this Thriving Thursday. Okay, so we got two lessons mm -hmm. that give us that blessing. Um, the blessing is no matter what, keep pushing, right? And so that's that's it. You know, sometimes we, we hit a, a roadblock. It's kind of like everybody utilized their phones for everything, right? Right. And there was one day I was using my phone to GPS I literally was already late for where I had to go. And I'm like, oh my God, what's going on? I took the wrong exit and my GPS said it put an extra 15 minutes on on my, my time. And so I'm like, oh my God, oh my God. So when I got to the meeting uh, that I had to go to, the lead person that was supposed to be there was also late. And so I was like, okay, you know, that's fine. Now I can calm down a little bit. But what I learned in that moment is sometimes God will detour you from the direction you think you need to be going in. And he'll take you into another route and it'll still be 
the result that you deserve and that you needed in that situation. Good. That is so true. And you know, we never really take time and think on that level because right. when you're already late, you're already late. So why mm -hmm. are you rushing? And, then, and if you know you're not a late person, if mm -hmm. that's not your characteristic, then maybe God is holding you back from something. Exactly. Maybe there's a delay, but it's not denied. I love it. I love it. I love, love it. it. Okay, good, good. So that's some good blessings and some good lessons. Now, huh? if you can go back in time and have a sort of a do-over, if you could add to a takeaway, go back 10 years, 20 years, last year, you could just go back in time and not change because I, I don't think that's realistic. Right. The result is going to be the result. If, but if you can tinker it a little bit or if you can receive a different lesson from it than what you did immediately, what would that be? Um, it probably goes, it probably goes back to being a fixer upper, honestly. Um, and, and again, the reason I learned my lesson last year is because I, I took on a project that wasn't business related. It was personal related. And I tried to fix it up without even knowing that I was fixing it up. And, um, it just, it just didn't, it did it, go. Yeah. Okay. It, it still broke. <laughs> <laughs> Never to be fixed again. Okay. Right. It sounds like some of this 2020 20 stuff that's happening. It, it sounds like a lot of people's 2020. You sound like uh, about 30 to 40 people. You sound like darn near all the people I've interviewed that that was kind of where yeah. where it is. And that's what where we're at with it. It can be fixed. It's broken, but yeah. it's fixable. So let's move on for it. As a matter of fact, let's pack yeah. that up and dispose of it. That's it. It's and that's, done. And that's the hard part. Sometimes we don't discard things that are trash sooner. Sometimes we hold on to them and then they start to get the odor and it starts to fester. And then it's a little bit too late because that's when the infection sets in. Oh, that's, that's it. A whole, oh, that's a whole nother topic. That's a word. Yeah. That is a word for sure. We're going to get into this say what part because, you know, I say uh -huh. the best for last. And it's mostly about current events and about things that's going on in the okay. world. Today. Things that, um, that I've seen and I'm sure you've seen on the media scene with all of this Donald Trump stuff that's been going on. Mm -hmm. Do say what? Yeah, it's that time. It's the say what um, segment. Do you say you, what? Have you been updated? You know, I think this say time what? they went ahead and announced that they were going, they brought up the impeachment. There were all of the, the Democrats and 10 of the Republicans have actually brought up impeachment in the House for Donald Trump. Yep. Can you believe that? I didn't believe. I mean, I've had, I've talked to several people, and I kept saying, "I don't think it's going to happen. I don't think it's going to happen." But it happened. It is. It's dead. It happened. It's still happening, um, and it's well deserved. And I think that that's the the beauty of it. And you know, I think what a beautiful I, democracy we live in. Absolutely, absolutely. And I think that it it should be a testament of um, timing is everything. This man thought he was going to leave with his own type of bang. And the bang is on him. <sighs> and and considering some of the recordings that are coming out in all, this man was on the phone with governors, basically. Anyway, okay, we've had a great show. I know you got a lot to do. I just want to get you on here so you could share with the listeners some of the amazing stuff that you have going on for 2021. You know, I never keep you long, Latoria, because I know this is not easy for you to do it. I am eternally grateful. Thank you. For my premiere week, I wanted to make sure that my audience really heard encouraging people, amazing people, wonderful people that had that push through mentality. Absolutely. And you keep doing what you're doing. Your personality and the love that you give everybody um, is, is just a beautiful thing. And it's always a pleasure to work with. And I just know that this is going to be the year where more things unfold for you. Yay, speak it. You know, I was just yes. in a Zoom call this morning. We were absolutely speaking about that, the manifestations and using your words and using them wisely. Now, mm -hmm. one last thing on uh -huh. that email that I sent you at the very bottom, it was in bold. It says, tell the listeners to. Tell the listeners to? Yes, I gave instructions at the very bottom. Oh, hold on, let me pull it up. Yes. The reading is fundamental, y'all. It's okay. That's why I put it in bold so it'll be easy to scroll on to the bottom and find. Okay. Let's see. Okay. Here we go. Here we go. Okay. 
So you that gave them your social handle meetings and your websites and how to reach you. And then oh, it's yeah. Tell the listeners too. Hannah, that's what I'm supposed to do. Tell the listeners to where to find me, right? Right up under there. I was it's right. It says all links. Okay, share the live, upload the app. It's GMT for me. Yay, hey, you did it. Hey. She like, what? Wait a minute, what? That, right. that <laughs> I thought I read everything. I did everything. No, I just like to end with that. I just like to close out to be sure and tell the listeners to share, 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 and go get the app. And it's the GMT for me. I love you to pieces, Latoria. And I will speak with you later. Yes, ma'am. You be good. Y'all have fun. And I will still be tuning in. All right. All right. All right. We're going to play another song in your honor. Yay. <laughs> great day, sweetie. You too. We're going to get one more song on in her honor. But well, we're going to get one more song on in Miss Tasha's honor because he's going to be, she's going to be here tomorrow. So I did want it to. Not Ain't that DJ Chose over there? No, we play. Mm, look like DJ Chose. Here we go. We're going to go mm. out with a bang today, mm. y'all. Mm. 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 Why your face mm. so ugly? Mm. 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 Like Club God say, throw that, poke mm. it out. I ain't, but I mm. let him. Mm. Uh. Yeah. Mm. Bad in my ass mm. too. This Take all these mm. niggas mm. money, so what we fix to do, then leave. Then leave. Get yeah. that bread, get that. Then leave. Yeah. Then leave. Then leave. Get yeah. that bread, get that head. Then leave. Peace yeah. out. Yeah. Yeah. Club Godzilla, I ain't tricking. I'm just. Thank you. Thank you, Sean. Thank you guys so much for hopping on the live. I so appreciate you guys. Miss Tiffany, Sean Pelosius. Who else we had on here? No, I can't get up. I can't, I can't give her no money. Yeah. She got good shit. I buy a Sonic slushy, but I can't give her no money. Yeah. Ooh, throw it back like a pro. Pop that like a boat. Oh, yeah. Get that bad middle fingers up to a pro. Like, yeah. girl, say, throw that. Poke mm. it out. Good, I ain't, but I mm-hmm. let him. Yeah. Mm. Bad mm. am I too. Take all mm. these mm. money. Mm. What we fix mm. to mm. do. Mm. Then leave. Then leave. Get that bread, get that, then leave, then leave, then leave, get that bread, get that, then leave, yeah. peace out. Yeah, yeah, hear that, so when I hit that toss, give it to my partner, he gon' flip that, Club Godzilla, ain't nobody trilla, pull up in the- Yes. Hey, y'all. Hey, it has been an amazing driving Thursday. I really appreciate you all for hopping on the live. Be sure and share, share, share. Create watch parties. Tell your friend to tell your friend to tell your friend. It's a good show on every day, Monday through Friday from two until four. And I go Facebook live as soon as I get the opportunity to. Guys, man, Premier Week has been amazing. And I just want to thank y'all so much for your support. The numbers are out of there. I'm really, really grateful to see you guys tagging people, sharing the live, talking on the live, like the comments. Y'all be having me up in the middle of the night trying to respond to everybody's comment because I really, really appreciate you guys for commenting. You don't understand. You don't have to do that. You don't have to engage. You can be like a whole bunch of other people and look, see, Lou and move. But you guys are really, really great at keeping me encouraged. And I hope that I'm keeping you guys in courage. My name is Chris Bryan. I am the host of the City Highlights, also the co-host of Meet Houston. I am here every Monday through Friday from 2 until 4 p.m. on the GMT platform. You can always log into www.gmtradio.com or you can get the app at your Play Store. Type in 90.3 GMT Radio. Open up the app. Click the microphone, and I'm right there at your fingertips, at the flick of your wrist. Yes, y'all, go get the app. Yesterday, we dropped the newest episode of Meet Houston. It's a good episode. It's it's a good episode. It's a good episode. Like, right now, if you're on the live, stop what you're doing and go upload the app and watch the live from Meet Houston because there's a contest going on. I'm giving away a pair of free a free pair. Yes, I said it. I'm giving away a free pair of 
Apple AirPods, but you got to work to get them. You got to work to get them. All I need you to do is to upload the app. After you upload the app, hit the television and go watch the newest episode of Meet Houston season two. Once you watch that episode, go to your social media platform, your choice, IG or Facebook. Once you go open up the recording device, meaning when you go to Facebook or IG, open up to make a video. In that video, you need to say, I uploaded the app. It's GMT for me. That's it. That's all. I uploaded the app. It's GMT for me. Upload that to your social media page. Tag me in it. Tag AT tag at Chris K R I S Brian tag at Chris Brian. And then I need three hashtags GMT radio, GMT broadcasting company and meet Houston. And the last thing that you have to do is on the post that I did yesterday for the live. I need you to go there and tell me what I said as the fun fact in the episode of Meet Houston. So the really only thing you're doing is watching an episode of Meet Houston, making a video and talking about it. And you get a free pair of Apple iPods. Now this contest runs until next Wednesday because on next Wednesday, we're going to absolutely drop that episode of Meet Houston on all of the social media platforms. So other people will have opportunities to win. And I only want my CHF family to get a chance to win. So you got to be on one of my lives to even know about this contest, but spread the word, tell a friend to tell a friend because we giving it away. All you got to do is follow the rules. So don't come, don't let me and my rules come between you and your AirPods. Just follow them. Thank you so much for tuning in. You guys have an amazing day. I love y'all to pieces. You ain't got to get off my live, but you got to get off my live. Bye.